All right, Cyberpunks. Today we are taking a look at the top 10 PC Cyberpunk builds for Cyber Up Your PC, the competition that was being put out by CD Projekt Red in coordination with NVIDIA and Alienware and SteelSeries. These PCs are phenomenal. I have scoured the internet and I have pulled out the top 10, or at least what I believe to be the top 10 coolest custom cyberpunk PCs out there. I hope one of these wins and these will be in no particular order. I'm going to go over each of them, show you what's out there. And I want to hear in the comments, which one you think should win the competition. So you guys know, my name is Tom or robots. I go by robots on the internet and I am the host of the cyberpunk Lorecast podcast, which is here on my YouTube channel, along with on whatever podcatcher you listen to. So if you want to dig more into the lore and the news and other updates and things about cyberpunk, then go check out that podcast. And as always, if this video is helpful or entertaining in any way, uh, go ahead and subscribe so you can come back and check out more videos in the future and give it a give it a like. All right, let's dig into this. And these are in no particular order. This first one is a flashy kind of neon design. And what I like about this one specifically is the combination of hardware that's strapped to the outside of the PC case. Uh, very modded looking along with the graffiti art and the color palette used on this. All of that together screams cyberpunk to me. What do you think? All right, our second contender. We have a Militech design with a lot of extra modded parts, especially on the top. We have some tubes running into the side of the case. We have some air vents. We have the Militech logo and a very sleek, almost black. It's like a very dark gray texture on the on the sides and a more metallic gray on the top. We also have some lit tubes coming out of the top of this thing. And in the images, it says salvaged microwave capacitors, salvaged flashers, salvaged 2.5 inch hard drive platters, all sorts of bits and pieces kind of stuck to the top of this thing. I think the design is really, really sleek. I also think that it's also worth noting that on the bottom, you have a kind of raised platform with some wheels. So this thing can actually slide around. Next up, number three, we have an Arasaka PC. And what's cyberpunk without the sinister corporations? And this design is very black and red. And I really like black and red, especially when there's red neon on it. Now, it starts out as a pretty simplified design that looks like a PC case with something kind of strapped over the top and hanging on both sides. When you take a look at it, these panels look like they open up or come out. And underneath, you have artwork. And there's something about this sleek design. It's fairly simple, but it's also very cyberpunk. Next up, and number four, we have another contestant here doing the Arasaka thing. This one is called Neo Militarism. Again, a very black and red design, but this one takes a very different approach. You can see in the black design that it looks like it has kind of a PC board layout going on and a handle at the top. So this PC rig would be easy to pick up and take with you on the go. I really love the LED display on the front. I don't know if this is, I mean, this is a, a mock-up, but I don't know if that's actually designed to show you data about the PC. Maybe it gives you frame rates or heat information, things like that right on the front. And I would also assume that all of the red around the outside and the logo and on the front is all actually neon lit. So this thing glows in the dark. I also really like the left side panel with the maze of red lines as if this thing is actually processing information. I can imagine a version of this where those lines pulse or or lines of uh, data run across each of them and they light and then they disappear and they light up and they disappear. I don't know how you would do something like that on a PC build, but that would be really, really cool. All right, number five, we have a Maelstrom build. And this thing looks like 
a creepy, crawly spider guy, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, very cool. I love the spider legs on this and the little spikes that come off the top. This is the only artwork I could find on this one. I would love a little bit more detail uh, about the other side of the case, if there's other stuff going on. Um, similar to the previous two, it has some red neon on it, along with etchings along the underneath the logo. Um, I think that this one would actually benefit from even taking the the red in the maelstrom and shining light through that as well. That's the one thing I would add to it. Otherwise, the spider legs look really cool. I wonder if you would be able to position those or if they would just be stable where they are. All right, number six. This Militech trauma team design is absolutely insane. It almost doesn't even look like a computer case anymore. It looks like it has wheels on the bottom. It looks like a little robot that can actually move around. And I believe this is designed around some of the hardware we saw in some of the release trailers and gameplay content. I haven't looked back through it, but I believe that this, at least the design of this, is very similar to some of what we see in the game. This is absolutely over the top. I think this this one is amazing. The one question I have about this build is if it is actually possible this seems like the kind of thing that would need a lot of custom parts or at least you need to 3d print all the pieces that fit together on this and it would take a lot of time and a lot of work but if it is possible i am not a pc modder if it is possible this would be amazing because it almost doesn't even look like a pc Number seven, coming up here, we have a, another design that is a little bit more on the simplistic side. What I like about this one is they took the artwork from the game, the, the yellow of the cyberpunk, the neon pink and magenta colors, the, the lights uh, blue, and really built out a true to the spirit of the artwork of the game kind of build. And what's cool about this one, and I only found a little image of the other side, not only does it have this Militech kind of neon going on on the side there, but it also has an LED display on the side of the case. So I would assume that this side of the case is the side that you would want facing you so that you could check out the LED and the, the readouts on this specific build. Now, I also like the fact that the neon on this one is the light blue color. That's a nice change from all the reds and the kind of the harsher colors that we have. This one is, uh, in general, has a much more, I don't know, light feel to some of these. Uh, some of the others seem very, very serious, whereas this one feels a little bit more light and fun, if that's even a way to describe how anything would be in the cyberpunk universe, which is very dark. Number eight, we have another Arasaka build, another black and red design. This one has a really cool textured case. And I would assume that the red on this lights up just like the others, but check out the side of this thing and the way that the the hexagons are kind of etched into the side and then especially the top. It almost looks like there's scales coming off the top of this thing. Like it is in the process of forming out of, I don't know, nanomaterials. And we just happened to catch a snapshot of it before it finished completing the case. That's the, the the mood I get from this. Also, on the one side here, you see a voodoo sticker or graffiti or, or something going on there. So it looks like it's kind of a combination of Arasaka hardware with maybe the voodoo boys uh, co-opted it for their own uses. Now, rounding out our last Arasaka red and black design, we've got one more. This one is... Different from the others, it, it, it still has that red and black kind of thing going on. But this one laid out very specifically what parts of this chassis are made out of glass, aluminum, and wood. There's a lot of different materials going on here. I like the what looks like kind of antenna ears coming off the sides. Very cool looking, especially from the side. From the front, it's simplistic. But if you look at the side and the dimensions of the back side of this case... It looks a lot more interesting. Also, you can see on the bottom section where it kind of shows snapshots of what the different sides look like, that the artwork on each of the sides of this chassis is a little bit different. So another Arasaka contender. And then last up, we have a case for the Moxes gang. Check out the pink on this one. The panels that look like they're attached to the side of the case. 
the alien wear in the, the nice light blue neon. And not only does this designer give us a case, but they do also do a mock-up of what may be a member of the Moxes, a, well, augmented woman of the night, I guess we could say. So some very cool stuff there as well. So go back through, check out each of these, and let me know in the comments which one you think should win the competition. Which one you would want <laughs> in your house, sitting on your desk, to show off to your friends. So... Thanks for tuning in, and as always, if this has been entertaining or useful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel, giving it a like, and sharing with your friends. I'll talk to you next time.